Casanova w- was a real person, um, whereas Don Giovanni or Don Juan is a fictitious person. Um, uh, Casanova was um, a, 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 a ni- an 18th century philanderer um, who was a Venetian and known to the person who wrote the textbook for Mozart's um, Don Giovanni and was actually at the very first performance of the opera in Prague. So that was one of those extraordinary coincidences in history. Casanova, the ultimate philanderer of the 18th century, was at the opening night of Don Giovanni. And that's why you believe um, that Don Giovanni is so relevant today. In fact, you say especially so in this post-Weinstein era. (laughs) Yes, um... Uh, yes, I mean, we're, the, 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 the subject is very much current at the moment. And uh, Don Giovanni uh, was the archetypal, as I say, philanderer. In the story, we're told that uh, Don Giovanni um, has, at the time of the day in which uh, reckoning comes, has, uh, uh, been, ha- has had uh, 2,056 successful seductions. Wow, We're told that by Leporello who reads out from a from his list uh, from his book where he keeps all the de- details. Now Weinstein probably hasn't had that many, but uh, Don Giovanni has. But the, the, for the for the, um, uh, the the those who support uh, women's uh, uh, um, rights, um, they will be pleased to know that this morality play uh, uh, Don Giovanni uh, meets his match uh, uh, and uh, burns in hell at the end of it and I'm sure there are plenty of women who probably think Weinstein should too but that's not for me to say. Um, and anyway it, it's, it's relevant because it is about a, um, an anti-hero a fantastic story and the, the, the irony is that many women love Don Giovanni maybe because he gets great music to sing but he's also a very dashing figure and um, the nice thing about Naropra is that because we have the opportunity uh, to tell the story in quite a lot of detail um, in other words of the 90 minutes where of, of our performance 45 minutes are probably taken up with 10 pieces of music and 45 minutes is to is uh, taken up with the story into which the music is dropped. And in 45 minutes, you can tell an awful lot of detail of the story so that people actually really um, hear for the first time probably just what a rascal um, Don Giovanni is, the extent of his philandering, the extent of his callousness. And they might not quite like the figure as much as they historically have done when they don't know really quite the detail of the story. And if they go by Mozart's music, they think he's a swashbuckling uh, aristocrat and having a good time. When they actually um, realize that he's a bit of a swine, they'll perhaps change their mind. 